I have an exciting lesson today in it, and this subject on the golden ratio will reveal one of the most mysterious aspects or mysteries about the golden spiral. And pretty much this is what it is here. We're going to um, draw the golden rectangle and show the spiral emanating from the Fibonacci sequence. So um, I'll do it on the board step by step so we can appreciate it. And I have a beautiful animations at the end to really nail the essence of what this is about. So first of all, um, we, we're going to draw a unit square. So we'll call this square one by one. We always like to start off with unity because uh, unity is always about the source, it's about consciousness. So here we have the first square and we'll call this one unit. So here it's called one unit. Now to get a golden rectangle, I need to um, take I take I need to take another square the golden this is halfway so that's 0.5 but if when I go 0.618 of that length I create the next um, square so it's a, it's a cascading descent of um, smaller and smaller squares so if these were Fibonacci numbers we could call this if this was 13 we could call this 8 if we wanted so that means now we have basically a golden rectangle if this is one this whole distance here the long length we've got the kookaburras going we've got this length of the golden rectangle is 1.618 and it's not actually a number that this goes 1.618 forever what it is the golden ratio is not a number it's actually a relationship between 13 is to 8 then eight is to five, then five is to three, and three is to two. So I'll, I'll just draw these by hand now. So we, we have our golden rectangle. We can say that this one is a five. Um, we'll call that one five. Then the next square, we'll call it um, a three. And then we've got another square and another square. And it actually goes forever. This lecture is about the origin of the eye of the spiral. The spiral of the eye has a name. We'll call that, we'll work that out soon. Let's get to this point. So I'm gonna draw the first arc. I might do that in a stronger color. So this is a semi, this is a quarter of a circle. That's a quarter of an arc. This is about a, a fascination with the 90 degree angle where this is 90 degrees. So I did, did otherwise that would have been a full circle. So that's a quarter of a circle. And then the next one, joins it and then we've got another quarter circle and each arc gets subsequently smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller but we don't know we don't know where that mystically ends um the ancient pythagoreans they knew that if you drew a long diagonal there and here this leaves a smaller golden rectangle here and if we draw the smaller diagonal of that golden rectangle we have an intersection point. Again, they intersect at 90 degrees. 90 degrees is the way in and out of different universes. So that, that's a very mystical point called the sweet spot. So here we have a sweet spot, and I believe that's the eye of the Taurus. Um, this is an implosion point. Now, what we want to do is that we have this beautiful golden spiral. So this goes infinitely large into the universe, and this goes infinitely small into the atom and we don't know where it ends we end up on in another dimension so what we're going to do now is we're, we're going to reflect this so by reflecting this golden spiral we'll do it in one smooth sweep so we go one two three four five six seven and to infinity i don't know somehow it's going to end so obviously we have this beautiful, the origin of the, the love heart. People, everyone in the world mindlessly does this symbol of the love heart. And here we have the mathematical origin of love, the energy of love based on the harmonics of the Fibonacci sequence, based on the mathematics of flowers. This mathematics is the mathematics of 
the human canon, this proportion to that proportion. If that's 13, this is 8. So this is all the mathematics of who we are. And the essence of this mathematical curriculum is about love and sharing, the ability for wavelengths to share non-destructively. Now, what I want to show you is um, something arises where, okay, we can say that that's a, a not lovely looking symbol, but there seems to be some kind of separation there. If these are two entities, what would happen if we could merge the two eyes of the spirals, the two consciousnesses come together as in love? So I'm going to show you that as an animation. Um, so it's about, we'll call it the nesting heart fractal or symbol. So you can see... I'm going to play this animation here and you can see almost like the vesica Pisces and the heart within the heart and I'll play that again that was only 10 I'll just play it one more time so you can see there's a vertical heart and an upright heart and it goes forever it's an infinity now this this one's a modern version of the one that was done originally by Dan Winter, which is called the Heart Zoom Fractal. So this was the first time it was actually put together. And and we can see that as you, as you zoom in into the center, you'll always see the heart within the heart within the heart. And that's what we mean by fractal. Fractality is when the inside is the same as the outside infinite love.